Hey guys, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Claremont. Claremont is a small city in the state of Florida, which is located in Lake County. 22 miles west of the heart of Orlando, known for its hills and lakes, Claremont was founded in 1884 and incorporated in 1916. It has the amenities and assets that make it an attractive location for families, new businesses, educational endeavors, office development, and health and fitness opportunities. Before we go on to the rest of the pros and cons, if you can do me a favor and hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below because it truly helps my channel. And let's go to number one. All right guys, so pro number one is living in Claremont has a suburban feel, which can be nice for families looking for more space than the largely densely packed cities for the money and for a good area to raise children. It has the feel of a family oriented community with a small town feel and that's what you like, just like we see behind us. Hey guys, we're outside Pepe's Cantina, as you can see here. And melting. this is- Melting. Melting. <laughs> and uh, we, this is one of our favorite eateries. Uh, we're gonna show you inside, so we're gonna take a lunch break. So come on with us. guys just finished eating at this place great food great ambiance uh, love this block this is awesome down in downtown Claremont so let's continue with the video all right guys so pro number two cost of living what makes Claremont interesting is that it offers an affordable lifestyle cost of living is only at a 5% above the state average. If you were to compare Claremont to the national average, it's about 10% less, and Claremont's housing expenses are about 16% lower than the national average as well. Utility prices are also 5% lower than the national average. So it is pretty you know, cost efficient to live here in Claremont. Now let's go on to the next pro. number three is the scenery. The surrounding areas of Claremont has an abundance of natural landscapes for an outdoor enthusiast from enjoying a peaceful evening in your lakeside home to the many golf courses or just enjoying plenty of nature walks within all the state parks that are nearby. We didn't even talk about how hilly Claremont is. While it's not a con, but it does surprise me every time I'm in the area showing homes to new customers. Now take a look at that view back there and we'll go on. All right guys, probe number four is activities. There are so many outdoor activities to do in Claremont from hiking, kayaking, fishing, and of course, mostly any type of water sports as you can see behind us, or you can enjoy watching other people doing the activities around the lake like we're doing right now. Did you know that there is a replica of a famous Mount Rushmore National Memorial here in Claremont? Well, take a look at this drone footage to show you and let's move on. All 
right, guys, pro number five, growth. Now, this one could be used as a pro or con, depending on your opinion. Some people like rural areas and some people like urban areas. Either way, Claremont has a consistent growth of new residents over the past five years. This city is ranked as one of the fastest growing cities in the nation. The population has reached 33,520 with a population growth rate of 5.2% in the last year and 26.9% in the last five years. This is a great segue into our cons portion of the video because we just make Claremont sound like it's the best place in the world. But now, here are some of the cons. Ooh, these bugs. <laughs> Right, guys so con number one if you had a choice between Orlando and Claremont the differences are the quite the opposite Orlando is more of a tourist town with all of the major attractions while Claremont is calm with a slow paced lifestyle the nice thing is that if you need a fix for all of the tourist sites and entertainment it's a quick drive down the road Claremont is mostly for the outdoor type of person who enjoys chilling in the state park watching life go by but if you are young you're a young adult there might be not enough to do to keep you busy and you may want to go to other nearby towns for nightlife and activities. All right guys, so con number two, home prices. They are increasing. The market median price for homes in Claremont is $399,990, and that is lower than certain areas in Orlando, like Orange County, but still higher than other areas like Davenport, Haines City, and more. Now let's go to Con 3. Con number three, commute. If you work or are going to work in the downtown Orlando area, the travel time is about 33 minutes one way by Route 50 to the 408. This may be a con if your preference is not to commute so much and may need some consideration when thinking about where your new home will be. I'm gonna answer a couple questions that we always get either through our customers or through our YouTube channel. And one of the biggest ones is Claremont, Florida hilly. The hills of Claremont are as real as they are beautiful. They are part of the formation of Florida sand ridges that uplift hills and is attributed to the formation of the land. Is Claremont far from Disney? The driving distance between the farthest end of Claremont to Walt Disney World is about 23 miles. It takes approximately 35 minutes to drive from this area of Claremont to Walt Disney World and obviously less the more further in you move toward Disney. Is Claremont, Florida rural or urban? The population was 43,021 in 2020. The city is residential in character and its economy is centered in retail trade, lodging, and tourism-oriented restaurants and bars. Here we are on Brashard Road, right? Which is an undeveloped road, which is gonna be the site for Olympus. The question that we always get is, why is Claremont called the choice of champions? Well, Claremont is known as the choice of champions because of its international reputation as the training ground for elite athletes the combination of pristine lakes, rolling hills, and warm climate make it an ideal location to train for triathlons, track and field events, water sports, and more. Claremont is also known to the new Olympus area where this is where we're at. Olympus is an innovative 243-acre master plan community combining sports, wellness, and entertainment and residential development. The Olympus Project is spearheading the Wellness Way area, a growth and innovation corridor consisting of 15,000 plus acres in close proximity to Orange County's Horizon West and the western entrance of Walt Disney World. In, in Lake Louise State Park and here they have guided eco horseback trail rides, uh, Segway tours, kayak tours, hiking tours. They have camping for all levels of, of camping aficionados. So if you're really good at it, they have the primitive camping where it's like $5.55 
per person to come in, set up a tent, go wherever you want. Or as Pam would like to say, glam out when you're camping. This is my kind of camping. Do horseback ride. And then do glamming, which is modern camping without being in the middle of the woods. And do your luxury carefree campsites or your eco tents, which has AC and heating if you need it. So, you know, you have all the options here and you live really, really close and nearby to such an amenity like this, it's just gorgeous. For now, that's all I got for you on the pros and cons of Claremont. My name is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And if this video made sense to you or helped you out in any way and gives you, give us a little like and follow down below. And me and my team are always here to help you. My number is 407-790-0929. And I'll see you guys on the next video.